So welcome back to the second part of this two-part series here we have at Javois Privé. In the previous video, we checked out the three bedders, including facilities. Today's video, we're gonna check out the two bedder, two bed plus study, one plus study, and the amenities surrounding this development as well. So a quick recap about this place is that this is a freehold development in District 10 in the Holland area. So without further ado, let's go check out the two bedder. Right now, we're gonna check out the two beta unit here at your voice privé. This is a fully ID and fully furnished unit. This is 689 square foot, the smaller of the two bedrooms. So as I enter, I'm first greeted by the open concept kitchen. As you can see, it's similar to the three bedroom in terms of the countertop, the backsplash, everything's in black. And we have slightly lesser appliances, but everything is still by Gargonau. We have the stove, induction stove this time instead of the gas one. And then we have the Gargonau oven as well. We have a concealed Gargonau fridge somewhere over here. So coming in, we are greeted by the dining table over here. And I would say that this living and dining space is one of the bigger ones I've seen for the two bedders. The layout is very efficient. You do not have a lot of wasted space. So there's still a generous size dining set up to four people. Put the chandelier light here. And right in front, we have the square plate that is the living space. Everything here is decked out in brown this time. A wood finishing, make it look more cozy again and more homely. Uh, we have a three to four seater couch here that is like standard all the way to the dining. So idea for you, you can do this for your new house as well. 65 inch TV over here, right, enough space. And then right behind that, we have the balcony space. So actually we wanted to go outside, but uh, someone is doing some brickwork over there. So it's a bit noisy, not typical. So this balcony extends your living space all the way out to the back. And you can put your plants, you can put a garden you know, wall over there, with some chairs for you to have your drinks after a long day of work. And then you can put zip track as well. That's done here to cover the blinds. Uh, on my left, we come to the first bedroom and I just love this concept because we have this super high ceiling. This is what I would do if I were you. I would put my bed upstairs, make it into a loft. Even though I'm 1.78, you can see that I can still stand upright and have enough space for me here to do my work. So this is study room and a bedroom by itself. Let me just show you what it's like to actually go up. This is what it's going to be like when I'm climbing up to my bed, enjoying the direct icon being blown right at me, and then just having a nap. Good night. <laughs> Stepping out of the first bedroom and coming to the common bathroom. So this one is, I would say, slightly smaller than the three-bedroom common bathroom, but the fit and finishing, everything is still the best great quality. The marble flooring, the sink over here, the enclosed shower over here. This is a very nice space as well. Plenty of space for you to move around. It's not, it's not claustrophobic at all. So now we're gonna step into the master bedroom. I think it's the same size as the three bedders that we just saw. King size bed here, plenty of space for you to put your side tables. You can do this up as well. Kind of a black finishing wood for you to I don't know, put your ornaments over here. And then right behind there is, again, the floor to ceiling window panel that hooks out into the other side. And this is the east facing, so there's no direct sun. And then on my left, we come to the master bath. So we have a Duravit wash basin as well as a WC. So we have a standing shower and a rain shower by Jesse Emporio. So one thing that makes this living space feel bigger than it actually is, is the high ceiling, at least a 3.2 meter ceiling height. So you can definitely feel the space here. So for the two bedrooms, there's a couple of configurations. The smaller one is 69 square foot, which is this one that we just checked out. And the larger unit is 732 square foot. It's a total of 15 total units left for sale for the two bed and above. The two plus study is 807 square foot and there's only eight remaining units um, for this development. So these are the two better options for you at Your Voice Privé. So 
So this is a 2-bit plus study MT unit, 807 square foot. Just want you to check out what it looks like without all the furniture and all the, you know, fittings. So white walls, the, the flooring is exactly the same. Kitchen is exactly the same. And the two bedrooms are there. So this is the possible view you're gonna get if you purchase one of the units on this side of the development. Personally, I prefer the other side, which is facing, you know, the unblocked views over there. But if you pick a higher floor unit, you can also see quite far on this side. So right now I'm going to check out the empty unit of Javais Privé, the one bit plus study. So this is a 5439 to 635 square foot. There are only three units left in this whole development. Okay, this on my right is the study. So you can see that it's tucked away in the corner over here, a generous size one. We have the high ceiling as well and we have a ducted aircon and also a specific aircon just for the study. You can actually enclose this space off if you want and then you can have your private space to do your meetings and calls. And then right over here is the master bedroom. It's shared by the common toilet over there for this whole unit. So what I'll do for this room is similar to the two bedroom. I'll definitely put a loft up here so that you can have additional space below to kind of chill. Or if you want, you can actually hack down this wall and make this whole space into a loft. For connectivity, we are within 5 minutes drive to the upcoming Orchard Boulevard MRT and it's just a 9 minute walk from here to Red Hill MRT Station. The closer shopping mall we have is Tangling Mall which is just 4 minutes drive away. If you like something newer, we have actually Great World City which is just 5 minutes drive away. And of course, if you want to access the whole Orchard Shopping Belt, we have that as well. Takashimaya Orchard is only 8 minutes drive away. And on the other side, you can actually get to Holland where the new Mega Hub is. And the Mega malls are going to be at One Holland Village. So for specialty kind of food, we actually have Dempsey Hill, just a six minutes drive away, and the whole of Tong Baru area as well. So for notable primary schools, we have Alexandra Primary School, just a three minutes drive away, and River Valley Primary School, just 10 minutes drive away. And we have Crescent Girls School for secondary, and Queenstown Secondary nearby. And for those who love nature, we have the Singapore Botanic Gardens, just six minutes drive away, and the Singapore River as well, just a five minutes drive away. So we've come to the end of this two-part series here at Javois Privé. Again, this is a freehold development in District 10, newly developed, newly TOP. If you like what you see here, give me a call. I'm Jonathan. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys here or the next one.